back. All right, you can get a taste of history through an entertaining one-man show, Dinner with Booker T, and it's coming to the Stage Aurora Theater. It's a period piece production that will leave you enlightened and full because it comes with dinner. And here with all the show details is the creator, Dale Rubin Hall. Welcome back to First Coast Living. Thank you. So glad to be back. Yeah. So this show, this is, uh, you were just saying, this is the first time you've ever played it. One man show, you're playing how many characters? I'm playing 14 different characters, and there are some females among those 14 <laughs> different characters, which is very unusual for me, but yes. Okay, so 14 characters. Yes. I'm just curious to know the logistics of how that works. Is it the costume changes and like, are you going running back and forth? How does that work? It varies. It's, it's dependent upon body gestures. It's dependent upon vocal inflections, um, the way I deliver a line, changing my voice. You know, as uh, right now, I'm, I'm Senator James K. Vardaman. You may not like me, <laughs> but come on out there anyway and hear the words that I have to say. <laughs> Okay, so, you know, something well, like who, that. Who else is rattling around in there? Uh, uh, one of my favorites is Mrs. Ruffner. She was very strict, and all the boys that she would hire to clean her house, they would never stay like more than two or three days because she was so strict. And Booker T. Washington chose, I'd rather be here than in the coal mine. But she's Mrs. Vardaman. I'm Mrs. Vardaman, <laughs> wife of General Ruffner. Oh, my God. <laughs> So this is all I like everything around me kept clean. Oh, oh, I, I can kind of tell. I can already tell in the voice, like what kind of, little kind of woman she was. Pre-mommy dearest? Yeah, a exactly. A little mommy dearest, that's a good way to put it. Yes. yes. So, so what is the storyline though? What are, you, what are you taking people through? Um, this is actually booked uh, based on the autobiography of Booker T. Washington, Up From Slavery, how he rose from slavery all the way to the White House. And I love that because all the things that we normally take as negative, he would take it and use it as fuel and turn it into a positive. For example, he slept on the ground in a log cabin when he was a child. But when he had heard about uh, Hampton, he wanted to get there. And on his way there, he had no money, he had run out of food. And when he got to Richmond, Virginia, he decided to sleep under a portion of a street where the board sidewalk had been elevated. So it was nothing to him to sleep on the ground because, hey, that's what I did as a child. It's not important that I'm sleeping on the ground. It's important that I get to the school because yeah. I want an education. Right. So he used all of these things that we would consider not too great as positives, and it catapulted him to where he became a well, guest at the White House. It's a I mean, a great lesson in life. All mm -hmm. things that normally would have been roadblocks for people, he took and used them and, and kept moving forward. Right, right. As building blocks. Yes, and speaking of building blocks, you know, he founded Tuskegee Institute, mm -hmm. and he t had his students to learn how to make brick to build their own yeah. school buildings. And yeah. I just think that it's a brilliant mind to not have to rely on others to do things for you, but to learn to do it yourself, use your resources. Yeah. So right, what kind of, yeah, I'm I'm kind of curious to know like can you just tell us about the general experience for the audience. What are they? What can they expect when they come in? There's some singing in here. So when the audience comes, I want you to sing along with me. Okay. okay? <laughs> then we can do a little oh say can you see? We can do all of that together with me. But I really just want the audience to walk away and be enlightened and encouraged and inspired, hearing one man's testimony and one man's journey of how he overcame obstacles to reach his highest success. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. That's what beautiful. I'm thinking. You know, at, at the latter days of his life, he received an honorary degree from Harvard University, and I don't think many people know these things, but all of this is spoken about in this show. It's so. an amazing show. Uh, mm -hmm. Tickets and information, how can people? Yes, uh, stageroar.org, or you can call Stage Aurora at 904-765-7373. Beautiful. Okay. And yeah. Appreciate it. Great seeing you. Yeah. Great seeing you, too. Thank you so much, yes. Daryl. Thank you. You can catch this segment and all the show details again on our website at firstcoastliving.net.